Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss about the L-spot assay, that is enzyme-linked immunospot assay. But before that, I will suggest you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I will upload a new video. Elispot assay is the modification of ELISA assay. ELISA assay is used to detect the specific antigens or antibodies present in the sample. Whereas Elispot assay is used to detect the cells which produce specific antigen or antibodies. So this is the basic difference between ELISA and Elispot assay. So let us discuss the Elispot assay in detail. So as I told, Elispot assay is used to detect and quantify the cells that produce either specific antigen or antibodies. Antigens produced by this cell can be any molecule like cytokine or hormone and antibodies can be of any type. Let us assume there is a serum sample and from this serum sample we want to detect and count the cells that produce a cytokine molecule called as interleukin 2. For this we will require a few basic things. First is the antibodies against interleukin 2 that is anti-interleukin 2 antibodies. This antibody specifically binds to interleukin 2 molecule and not any other molecule. Second is enzyme linked anti-interleukin 2 antibodies. This antibody also binds to interleukin 2 molecule but these are connected to specific enzymes. Substrate of these enzymes is chromogenic. Chromogenic substrate means when this substrate is converted into the product by this enzyme, the product has a specific color. In short, the colored product is formed from substrate. So these are few basic things which we will need for Elispot. Let us discuss the actual procedure. In the first step, anti-interleukin 2 antibodies are coated on the surface of microtiter well. Due to coating, the antibodies are firmly attached to the surface of microtiter well. In this diagram, I am showing only one row of antibodies in the well. But actually, the antibodies are coated to each and every corner of the well, like this. After this, the sample is added to the well. If the sample contains the cells that produce interleukin 2, they will settle at the bottom at different places. In this case, we are considering two cells. When these cells will secrete interleukin 2 molecules, they will immediately bind to the antibodies which are present in the close vicinity of these cells. This will not bind to the antibodies which are far away from those cells. In this way, the antigen-antibody complexes will form at a point where cells were settled. In the next step, the well is washed with the help of buffer and due to this, the unbound material is removed including the cells. After this, secondary enzyme-linked antibodies against interleukin-2 are added to the well. These antibodies will bind to interleukin-2 molecule like this and many antibodies will remain unbound. These unbound antibodies are then removed by washing the well with the help of buffer. In the next step, chromogenic substrate is added to the well. The substrate molecule will be converted into colored insoluble product by the enzyme linked to the antibodies. Since the colored product is insoluble, it will not spread in the well and it will settle at the reaction site like this. And this will develop a colored spot in the well like this. So here two spots are developed because two interleukin-2 producing cells were settled in the respective area. So in short, we have to just count the number of spots developed in the well, which are equal to number of antigen producing cells in the sample. 